So Rolex celebrates uh, 100 years of the Le Mans famous race with a Daytona Le Mans, which is kind of funny. Uh, Le Mans was originally how the watch would have been called, but they were not sure that uh, Americans would be able to pronounce it properly. Daytona was a bit uh, more acceptable. It comes uh, with the black dial, the reverse panda, which was the original version of the, of the Le Mans, the, the, the Daytona. Here we have it in a, uh, 18 karat uh, white gold so it's going to be uh, very luxurious but then again everything with rolex now is uh, is past the the point of being a tool watch they're all very uh, luxurious uh, themselves so a bit heavier than you would want for a sports watch and no doubt the vvips uh, will have a feast on this one i'm expecting resale at a quarter million dollar probably it will be impossible to get but just for the sake of argument already opinions are very mixed and uh, my first reaction was uh, hmm this is very uh, Tudor this kind of move with the uh, vintage Paul Newman style uh, sub dials with the little squares the hundred in red kind of thing you see on a Omega anniversary model or, or a Zenit uh, not really the heritage style that uh, Tudor thrives on uh, that uh, we've been accustomed to uh, with Rolex they're usually they're a bit more subtle than that uh, they put a lot of green for example for an anniversary model kudos to them for modifying the movement uh, brand new movement a little bit to have a 24 hour counter but overall this type of vintage throwback uh, it, it's a bit uh, it's a bit bizarre it's a direction certainly uh, that the new CEO wants to, to take and I'm not sure uh, everyone at Rolex really share this type of uh, opinion and finally uh, the one thing that keeps on shocking me is to have the left side lugs and right side lugs the same size while in the past the right side lugs were a bit thinner to bring a bit bring a bit more of the balance and here they have the same size now since 2023 and on top of it, the, the pushers and the, the crown guards are much bigger than uh, before. Well, certainly the crown guards. So it feels very unbalanced. And uh, we find this with this watch uh, as well. Not crazy about that. And uh, also not sure how this new black dial version will reflect on the standard uh, steel one. Uh, time will tell. And uh, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Bye bye, guys.